And he says, why were you searching for me? <laughs> Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? <laughs> yeah. You know the answer of a question with a question that helps the person to think through the implications of what they ask is sometimes referred to as the Socratic method after the Greek philosopher Socrates. But I would say it's also Jesus' method. Let's also take a look at what James has to say about wisdom. I want to take you to the, the little letter that was written by James. And uh, in chapter 3, <coughs> verses 13 to 18, we read this. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life. I want you to notice the connection there. The wise and understanding person shows it by their good life. By deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such, quote, wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, <coughs> unspiritual, demonic. <coughs> in other words, there's a false wisdom that comes from this world, from our carnality, and from the enemy, Satan, and his demons. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure. Then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy <coughs> and good <coughs> partial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. <coughs> Let us pray. Father God, come to you today asking, as Solomon asked, that you would give us true wisdom, understanding, and discernment. We ask God that we would grow in wisdom as Jesus did when he became a human and walked among us. We ask God that we would learn wisdom as we meditate on your word. As we are teachable. As we listen and ask questions. And then God, as we read your word, we understand that wisdom is a very practical thing. It's something that shows up in a good life by the deeds that are done in humility which comes from that wisdom. Today, Father, we confess any bitter envy or selfish ambition within our hearts. Help us to be honest with ourselves and with you. We know that that kind of wisdom does not come from heaven. God, remove from us envy and selfish ambition, disorder, and every evil practice. We pray that you would make us, first of all, pure. Then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial 
and sincere. We pray in the name of Jesus. 